So you can see we're down here under the car now. You got bank one, bank two. Um, like I said, they're V bands now, so we want it as high as possible. The couple of hitting points we have is um, we got the car's frame right here, we got the transmission right here, and we're gonna need enough space for the piping to be able to do its thing and get through here. And so we're gonna try to tuck the piping kind of more up, and so we can have enough room for the turbo right here, have enough room for the V band that goes right here before the T4 flange. From here, Flex pipe, come down, around, and come here. And then that bank, we're gonna have it go here, kind of come along the transmission, come all the way almost out past the turbo and kind of do a loop downward. And then we're gonna have it do a nice transition into this pipe that's already coming this way. And they'll meet together, go into the V-band right there, and then boom, turbo right there. So. We're gonna have to adjust the clock. Obviously, this is gonna have to come way more up so it could be pointed this way. And the charge piping for the cold side is gonna go this way and kind of make its way that way. So, let me get some of the metal. Uh, we're gonna start mocking things up, eyeballing, marking, and then uh, we're gonna start cutting. Here we are from the front way now. This harness is for the O2 sensors that go um, after the cat. I'm not gonna be using this, so. For now, I'll kind of just tuck this up the way. This front is a little bit different in a 350Z and a G35. Like the Z has kind of a bracket here, but that's not really gonna be a problem because the level of this should be sitting higher than that. This is about where I went to turbo. You can see it's tucked higher. The oil box is not too close down to the ground because that was one of the issues I had before. I have adequate room for this charge piping here to go right across and go up that way. And then you can see about right here, I'm gonna have this pipe come this way and it's gonna go in front of this and it's gonna go right here like that. And it's gonna go straight right goes here. And then I gotta put the clamp on. And then uh, from there, we'll see how much of this I need. And and then uh, this is the easiest step. So this is kind of what I start off with right here. So the band is just kind of chilling there. It's not all the way on or tight. So we'll see. I want this to dump straight down or we can have this dump at an angle. Now, if we have a dump at an angle, it'll just make the path shorter. So we'll probably dump it at like slight, slightly like that. So right now we have to work around this and this here. So, I'm kind of still playing with the front and back of the turbo. I will clean this up obviously later before I tack it up and weld it, but I took one of those 90s. Now you can see it's a 45 holding the flex pipe next to it. And you can see it's gonna go here off the V-band. And now this flex pipe is here. And you can see we need to make that journey from the bottom of the flex pipe over to that T4 there. So this is the next step. Then we'll get the pipe that We'll come and make that 90 off of here and kind of start shooting that way. If I need the angle to be a little bit uh, less, then I can just trim off of one end. So I'm gonna go ahead and just already tack this up to the V-band. Uh, so we're gonna place this here how we need it. And we're gonna mark it. And I'm just gonna do four tacks all along there. So then when I need to do the welding, all I will do is boom, 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 lay down some there. Lay down some right here, uh, opposite ends. Wait for that to cool. 25% of the way around for each bead. And it should be easy to weld up. Clean up the edge a little bit. Like I said, none of this shit is final until I actually do a final full passes around this shit. We just go in, fit and piece together like Legos. So now uh, I'm gonna tack this on here because I know for a fact that I want this angle to be about like this, all the way flush, all the way around. And uh, we're gonna tack this up and keep it moving. So you can see uh, I tacked on this uh, V-band straight onto this T4. I don't wanna be fucking with all four of these bolts every time I gotta take the turbo off. You could do it, or you can get one that's already T4 to V-band, but I couldn't find one for a decent price uh, with shipping, so I just decided to get one of these flare these 2.5 inch V-band. And then this is the other side. It's right there. I took one of these 90s. I cut it right in half once again. So I'm gonna, I grabbed one of these 90s. I cut it in half. 
and then we flip it this way and now it's like this and then this is going to get tacked onto here now this part and you can see boom so imagine the i'm going to put overlay images so you see where the turbo is next to the transmission so now you can see that's where the t4 goes and to accommodate the bump of the transmission we're doing a slight dip down before we get to the other side of the crossover pipe so that's what this is you can see i started working kind of backwards on the pipe so that was one of the rare chances i have a cameraman it's hard to show a lot of the shit i'm doing because i don't have anyone to hold the camera um and i'll be under the car so it's hard to get good angles i'm gonna need this one wasn't long enough so I'm gonna need to cut off some of this. I think I'm just gonna use this end. I don't. I didn't want to use the flared end, but this end is cut pretty rough. I don't feel like grinding it down. You know what? Fuck that. All right. So as y'all can see. All right. So as y'all can see, we're making a little bit of progress. We got the turbo mocked up where we want it. Got the T4 to V-band. Now we got this piece that I just tacked up. Go here. You can see, it's making that trip down here. It's gonna go as necessary. The turbo is gonna go a little bit higher. And uh, we can make this at an angle to where it can line up to where we need it. So it's not too low but it's just enough to where it'll go past the transmission in this bump right here. So um, with a lot of adjustments to the turbo positioning, the angle, I've got to about right here. You can see it's a small gap. This is not the pipe I'm gonna be using. I have that right there. I can trim down and fill this gap all the way to this point. Yeah, now I just gotta mark this all up. It's just all eyeballing and just playing around with the position of everything. I can get a different pipe cut up that fills this whole space and then uh, I can get tacking and see we get cracking. We start doing bank one and uh, get that shit to where it merges right there and then boom, we halfway there. It's not long enough so we're going to cut this piece down and I measured how much the gap was so we're going to do an additional a little bit more extra than that so we still have room to grind it down get it all smooth i got this other pipe and it's pretty close matched up so it goes v-band about 45 degrees down then it goes this flex pipe then it goes 90 into this straight right here and then it's gonna meet up with these two 45s 45 up and then 45 back down so it used to be a 90 but it's flipped and it goes into the V-band, into the T4, into the turbo. So that's pretty much the left side here. Obviously, I gotta do the hole for the wastegate and um, finish tacking up all these. Uh, we're gonna start marking up the passenger side bank one because this will all be here and floating and we'll see where we can bring it. Boom, so you saw while I was down there supporting this up, I seen how much of a gap I had left, measure how much I need off of that pipe. Then I knew how much more I need off of the new pipe. Gave it a little tax where it is. Now we about to bring it under there, see if it fits where the turbo are. Ready to move on to how we're gonna start this bank two. I'm probably just gonna go around this way and then come straight down, do a nice loop right here. And we're gonna go right into this pipe, but we're not gonna go straight at it. So it's like a harsh perpendicular angle. I'm gonna definitely have it where it kind of curves a little bit before it emerges with this pipe so I could at least have some sort of, you know what I'm saying? So I could have at least some sort of uh, direction that all the air can flow to rather than this air just flowing this way fast and this air just clashing with it. Um, you know what I'm saying? This is a stock block, you know, low boost application anyway, but uh, we'll still give it a little bit of extra effort. Now that we found this and we have the position of the turbo set in stone, we can kind of lower this down and put the turbo away. And I'm gonna keep the turbo in here for a little bit. Let's see what kind of angles you wanna go with right here. But um, after we get this initial leave off of bank one, then, uh, then we'll move this turbo out the way. So here's the front of the car. You see the sway bar right there. And you can see a subframe power steering lines and there you go 
Here's the piping so it doesn't dip down too low. On this part, on the new manifold, I fucked up pretty bad. So I had to cut it about right here. And now this is, I'm remaking that part. So this is the remade part now. And now we're starting to work on the merger so we can move on to the next bank. This part right here of the crossover pipe is on the car right now. Getting some measurements for the merge that's gonna go right here. So to make the initial downturn on the new pipes, we used half of a half a 90, we used a 45. So the other half of the 45, so the other 45, I took it and I got it down to about this right here. So you can see it sits something like that. You can see it's still a little bit gap right there. You gotta do some finishing touches, but you can see it kind of comes out like that. So it has some, it promotes some sort of flow into this. That's good. So now we're gonna mark this up so we can uh, have the outline and cut the hole for this. Cause last time I did this, I forgot to cut a hole. Then we're gonna tack that on and then go from there. You can see, it's gonna aim upward. It's gonna shoot up this way. And then we're gonna have the other pipe. Boom. Come right down here. Just roughly like that. And then Move the turbo out the way so that my wrist can come here and I can do this. You're holding three pieces, the V-band, 190 and another 90. So obviously bank two is here. Bank one is on this side. This V-band is gonna be pointed up this way. It's something like this. Um, I didn't, it's kind of like going 45 in one direction and then going 45 in another direction. You can see how it's gonna merge and then how it's gonna loop up right here. It's a better representation. I'm just holding the pipe like this and you can see Heading up towards the header right there. All right, so I ran out of welding wire, so I gotta continue this whenever I get some new wire. I kinda got that mocked up right now. In between, like, it's like smaller than a 45 now. And I got this pipe. And it goes to this 90. And that's basically how it's gonna go for this side. I didn't really get to film too much of this. It was just kind of trial and error and fitting these pieces together. You see all the welds on the left already done, but on the right, we have the tacked up and that's pretty much the final shape. It's basically the same thing, but the only difference is we get a little bit of extra distance by, instead of having a perpendicular merge right at the top, we have a slightly more flow oriented merge towards the bottom so that it has to travel out or around rather than just going straight up. And that should give it more of an equal length and that should make it sound more like a Z, more like a traditional VQ rather than how I had it, how that one sounded. I'm um, kind of excited. The welds aren't gonna be the best, but um, I'm just doing with what I got and it's gonna work and it's gonna make boost, make power. It's not gonna crack. Even if it does crack, I'll just weld it again. Don't give a fuck. It's not gonna crack though.